Hunter x Hunter, episode 25. This amazing conversation that I still not sure what to make of yet. Definitely set up in a big way. I mean, what was the point of this arc otherwise? I'm like, so far. I feel like they're just gonna leave now. Blood. Blood Brothers, Blood Pact. Can't see X if X you're blind. Interesting title. We we went up the mountain and opened the door so we could see Kalua have this heart heartwarming question mark conversation with his father. <sighs> the episode title mentions being blind. Gon has one eye. I hope this is a chance to talk about <laughs> Gon and his the danger he poses. Damn, she is hysterical. Well, trouble in the Zoldic household. What a great mother. God, with a mother like this, do you want her to care about you or not? I mean, my boss just shot me, so... Can't see if you're blind, Gon. Okay, so it's not quite over. Mom might interfere. Not out of the woods yet. We're not out of Zoldic Mountain yet. Why are you such a jerk? Okay. Hope Gon gets an apology out of him for his rudeness on the telephone. No! Yeah, he's working for the mom. Any one of these butlers could probably take you out. Apologize. Write <laughs> down a business. Tell him, Norio. Awfully trusting. No, we've had enough games. Nope. We have learned our lesson from the long, long exam arcs. We no longer accept games, especially games where our opponents decide the premise, right? <laughs> Surely we have learned our lesson. No way they actually play this game. game. Don't do it, Kirby. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Right into it, right into it. I mean, at least there's no stakes yet. No hand. He's setting them up. This is a hustle. He's a shark. It's highly unnecessary. No. No hand. What are we gambling right now? What are we, what's the stake? What's the wager? Gon will fall right into it too. Okay. Okay, at least it's honest. Put all our cards on the table, or coins. Hey, crushed it. No! <laughs> you have a choice! Oh. Okay, that's a little different. Not canary. Alright, we just gotta accept the premise, don't we? No, you answer my question. If you kill me, doesn't that put you in bad favor with Kalua's dad? What authority do you have? What are your credentials? Why are we taking orders from a butler? I don't believe any of this. You're a glorified receptionist. Not that I have anything against receptionists, but I don't work for you. I want Gon to flip this on him and make him apologize more than ever now. I demand retribution. No hand. I'm, I'm doubling that on my answer. No hand. Me and I. I mean, like, okay, so if one person's out of the game, it must be that, right? Because if you answer incorrectly, one person's out of the game, but there are three of them and he has two hands. Yeah, admittedly, Canary being held hostage is leverage. Oh, there's multiple rounds. That changes it. They can't hedge themselves that long. How many rounds? You gotta tell me how many rounds we're playing. No hand. Oh, going to the last one standing. There you go, there you go. Pick up for yourself. Right hand. I do not trust you. Oof. Opening his eye. He needs both eyes. 
Follow that instant Kalua. Don't trust them. Surely Gon would be here by now. No hand. Do they practice this? No one. Uh, coin. Waiting time. Wow, that just vastly exceeded my expectations. I'm holding the coin now. <laughs> Hey, I was right. I'm claiming victory for that one. Okay, now leave. Apologize for wasting everyone's time. Did you almost forget Grupika's name? <laughs> we both got tortured. Yeah, there's the apology. You're a poor joke. <laughs> there you go, another apology. Here, right? My anger is abated. I don't think he was acting. That's a solid plan. Yeah. And a bullet. Get away from mom. As fast as your little legs will take you. Take Canary! Oh, oh, cold, cold-blooded. Well, that's obviously wrong. That's a lie, yeah. I don't need Gon Instincts to know that one. No hand. That's a trick. Wow, last minute. At the very last moment, some redemption. Alright, fair enough. Cold. <laughs> Man, poor canary. They really love Kalua, huh? Damn, Quirpika just figured it out. Alright, yeah. Okay. I knew there was some deception. Stack deck into his sleeve. And that was when they learned the lesson? Maybe? For the love of God? How much evidence do you need before you realize that the world is just out to deceive you? <laughs> it's also hilarious to me how they're- It's like nothing happened. They're just hanging out. Gon got beat half to death. Kalua tortured by his family. But whatever. The saga continues. It's also, I mean, it's simple, but it's also kind of cool that there, <laughs> there was no tearful reunion. They're like, oh, I love you so much. I now understand the meaning of friendship. No, they just, they just enjoy the moment. They're just happy to be together. It's so natural. A tour visa life, what do you know about it? Man, I'm so jealous. It's okay, just leave every 90 days. I just pray to God that immigration officers don't make it, make trouble for you. <laughs> wow. Wow, he really took that to heart. A noble goal. Could I absolutely feel like it was 100% his doing? I mean, it can't be any worse than Lament Mountain, right? Yeah, he's like harvesting them for his... Pleasure. Can you, yeah, speaking of which, can you reveal the secret? Yes, thank you. Yeah, what the hell did you say? Uh-huh. It's a win-win. And we're going to my home, York New City. They might share a target. So what do we do in the meantime? We're four characters. What? You're leaving? You can't do that. Oh, maybe we'll have a time skip. I'll be okay with this if it's a time skip. Okay, yeah, I actually thought that might be a good thing for him. But I doubt that's how it will go. Go to Kluo stay together, right? They gotta stay together. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna skip ahead to the next arc. I couldn't bear it if, like, not all four of them were there for the sh for the show, for the episodes. Bye -bye. You wanna go do random stuff? 
I said train. Wow, I feel fear for these, well, for this world. <laughs> these two kids is loose. Okay, you don't have to physically represent it in such detail. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, the focus is the same no matter what. Just getting yourself stronger. Damn, Kalua going training arc? Like a fighting thing? Competitive fighting? A tournament! Tournament arc! Christmas comes early this year. So I'm not really sure how people divide the arcs. You could make the argument that this old Dick Mansion thing was its own arc, though I think I could also make the argument that this is the end of the first arc, including the exam section. Not that it really matters how to divide them, just in terms of coherence of theme. Gon is a way more interesting character than I initially thought he would be. So much more than just the good-hearted, optimistic protagonist. I mean, he's great. There are so many wonderful and inspiring qualities in him. He's also, he's a monster and he's also a child. It feels like a lot of people that meet him recognize they can't really force him into anything. They can't change him, but they're subtly guiding him into being a little bit more, I don't know, emotionally rounded. We saw that twice in the Zoldic Mansion thing, once with the gate guard and then with the, the butler who I came to like in the end. Do you understand, Gon? There's more than you can see. There's more than you understand. It's more than you're ready for. And Kalua also saying something to that effect at the end here. Actually, come to think of it, Kalua's statement is very on point in that regard. The more powerful you get, the more you'll understand power. There's a little bit of Gon's being naive that makes him overconfident. He doesn't understand the scope of power and of the danger and like what he needs to apply his will to. This felt like maybe it was an eye-opening episode for Gon. Kalua also fascinating in that the more I watch him, the more I think he's a really sweet kid at heart, just in very bizarre circumstances. And you can tell that the people around him really love and admire him. That's not happening in a vacuum. They're not like his mother who's just looking to, I'm guessing, use him or is secretly afraid of him. They don't really have those incentives. They genuinely like who he is and see his potential, not just in power, but as a as a person and Gon and Glue are just so so amazing together because they're both such cool characters and complex I can't even articulate why it is I just know intuitively that they are critical for each other side note I love how Kurapika and Leorio just tacitly acknowledging what has become clear <laughs> that they're they're not really gonna be any kind of guardian guardians to either of the two kids because they can't that's not their role at least not yet <laughs>